Hi there. Later, a rainbow flag story to warm the cockles of your heart. First, though, America's Supreme Court hears a very significant case this week on gender affirming care for transgender young people. It's come about because of a ban in Tennessee, and there are similar restrictions across the US. A lawsuit argues this violates equality protections in the US Constitution. If you take, for example, a transgender adolescent boy, he cannot receive testosterone to live consistent with his male identity because he was assigned female at birth. Had he been assigned male at birth, he could receive that same medication for that same purpose. That is sex discrimination. Chase Strangio speaking to Democracy Now!, He'll become the first out trans lawyer to argue at the Supreme Court, making the case for the ban to be struck down. This will affect access to gender affirming care across America for years to come. Poland wants to give LGBTQ people more protection against hate speech. The government's approved a plan to update the current laws to include sexual orientation and gender. Age and disability will also be covered by the beefed-up hate crime legislation. The changes follow criticism from the UN's Human Rights Council. And a woman's been left a message by a neighbour she barely knows about the rainbow American flag she flies outside her home. Uh Uh-oh, thought Angela from New York State. Here it comes. But no, the neighbour said they like the colour the flag brings to the neighbourhood and left a brand new replacement. Because, honestly, Angie's was looking a wee bit tatty. Needs to lift her game. But that's nice, though, isn't it? Hey, a lovely gesture. No time to tell you that. Trans Folk, the series, has launched on YouTube about a group of transgender friends navigating life, loss and love. There's a link in the podcast description. From tomorrow, we kick off our series of specials on LGBTQ plus firsts, I'm Kev McGraw. See you then, then.